Well, you're used to these big, huge premieres. We love seeing you in Jumanji. You've been in the Avengers world. What does it feel like to have this in game happen right now? Is it emotional? I think it's potentially emotional. I haven't seen the movie yet, nor have I been given a full script because they're so secretive. But I can kind of piece together from the stuff that I filmed what's going on. What's going on? I can't tell you that. Oh, so now you're just keeping a secret from us. I, I see. Yes. Other people at least didn't know. She's like, I know and I'm not going to tell you. I'm holding back so much information. <laughs> they must really trust you with keeping secrets. I guess they do. They Although I feel like, like in the last interview, before we go in there, I'm going to just... It's all going to fall out of my face. Should we reposition ourselves? On the that might be wise. <laughs> and then this happens. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Well, you're back. You aren't blue and you have hair, but you are still emotionally connected to your character. Oh, absolutely. I love my character and uh, I love playing her and I feel I really understand her. And my job is to get everybody else to understand her, so hopefully I do that. What do you want us to understand about her? I want you to understand that she's not a villain. She's been very wronged in life and she's tormented by having an abusive father like Thanos. Awful. She's just misunderstood. That's it, exactly. <laughs> She but is. She's a badass too. Which must she be is. So much fun. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, fighting, fake fighting is is really fun. Not real fighting, fake fighting. Okay, fake fighting. All right. But you're in the Avengers world. What's the best perk of being an Avengers badass? Oh, I think it might be coming to events like this, and and also just having like such a gigantic fan base care about what everybody is doing in every movie. And that's so special because that doesn't always happen. Um, and and to have such an amazing fan base that are so passionate and they know that ins and outs of your character, that's a satisfying experience. What are you, your thoughts on the director of Guardians, the fact that he's back? I'm so, I mean, we're just so happy. It feels like the ringleader is back in his rightful position. And, um, and we couldn't have made the movie, um, or the, at least the movie it's meant to be, without him. And so it just kind of feels like we got our dad back to the family or something. Really? And so it is about, like, everyone gets a second chance. Like, people evolve and change, right? Yeah, I think redemption is, is something we need to really value. Um, and he's back, and he's, he's going to make an amazing movie for us. Can't wait. You have so many movies that are in the pipes and, like, in pre-production. It's incredible, your career. Oh, okay. What can you tell us about Jumanji? Because I love that movie. Oh, it's going to be so good. <laughs> I needed to do that straight down the barrel. <laughs> it's going to be so good. I don't know why. Um, but, like, all I'm doing is laughing the entire time. So I don't know if they're getting any acting out of me. But, like, I mean, just acting with these actors is the funniest experience I ever. I love it. One more extra. Hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.